Hey everybody, Dave Bartosiak with Trending Stocks at Zax.com. The hottest trade of the second half of 2021 and the first half of 2022 was the inflationary trade. I mean, energy, lumber, commodities that get a boost from inflation. Prices go up and that means that profits go up. It helped the energy sector lead the way early on in the year. Even though this trade is off in the last month, with stocks like Chevron and ConocoPhillips losing about 16%, the sector is still red hot. Oil ETFs like the Vanek Oil Services ETF are still up nearly 30% year to date. The question everybody wants to know the answer to is, is the inflationary trade over? Have recession fears overpowered inflationary pressures in the market? Let's take a look at some performance numbers recently, as well as check out Zax.com to see if this trade is in fact over. So I'm borrowing this heat map from Finviz. You should check them out. They're a wonderful site. That's right. It's not all about Zax, but I want to show you this real quick. So you can get an idea here, sort of what's been performing, and then we can fine tune this on Zax.com. So obviously energy has been where it's at. Exxon Mobil up 45% year to date. Chevron 25, ConocoPhillips almost 30. So you see all of this action over here, lots of green in the energy space. Where's the red bin? Well, uh, I don't know that we want to call Tesla consumer cyclical, but I guess they're throwing them over there, kind of. Uh, Amazon uh, over here, Home Depot, right? So uh, it has not been good for some of these larger names. And then, of course, the semis, it's been absolutely terrible over there with NVIDIA off 42%. So plenty of red on this screen when you look year to date. Healthcare getting a little bit of a boost. It's starting to feel a little like the R word, right? Now, the great thing about this site, I can go ahead and scroll back down here, just what's happened over the course of the last month. And now here you're seeing the change with some redness happening over here in the energy sector, a little bit of green in that consumer cyclical. So things are shifting a little bit in terms of the price. So now we transition over to Zax.com and we can check out our sector ranks. All right. So we have a few more sectors than what you're going to see in the uh, regular S&P 500 there. We break it down. We have about we have 16 of them, but here you can you can clearly see that the oils and energy sector still very very hot indeed when it comes to the earnings side of things. You have the multi-sector conglomerates that are outpacing. Then we have transportation, industrial products. But as you're talking about these, you know these are all kind of still inflationary trade. And if you look at the bottom end, you have retail. So there's that R word, right? When we talk, well, <laughs> not R word in terms of recession, but uh, you would expect that the retailers might be struggling a little bit. Surprising to see autos down here. Well, maybe not so surprising when you realize that the auto industry was just so red hot that they were making so much money, huge profits. It's going to be tough for them to meet that again. So that's why you're starting to see revisions over there. So. It looks like from an earnings standpoint, we're still doing quite well with oils and energy. And here we see that some of the hottest are actually the integrated Canadians on the oil and gas front. Then you have the refiners. So that's all you have to do, really. You just go ahead and click on there. And here you can see oil, gas, refining, and marketing up almost 25% year to date. And you can scroll down here and find yourself some ideas. So we got CVR Energy. We got Delic U.S. Holdings. We got Marathon Petroleum. So you go ahead and just pop these bad boys up and take a look. And I'm just going to open up a couple of them. I'm going to see, in terms of Zach's rank, what's going on. So, of course, Zach's rank number one strong buy. I want to check out the detailed estimates page. It's basically my favorite. Well, I guess my favorite chart is the price consensus and EPS surprise chart. But look at <laughs> Really po a lot of positive moves here. Five analysts over the course of the last 60 days increasing their earnings mar their earnings estimates for Marathon Petroleum. You're talking about 460% year-over-year growth. They're going to make 13 bucks this year. That is going to reel in next year, okay? So maybe that's why we're seeing the price change or adapt a little bit. So 90 days ago, they were only going to make 591 So more than doubling their profit expectations. And next year is still nearly doubling that profit expectation. So these are still really huge numbers coming in like for Marathon Petroleum. But look at the stock prices come down from 115 all the way to under 90. So what gives? Let's look at the price consensus and EPS surprise chart. Like I said, my favorite chart. What I want to look for here is I want to see the earnings continue to go up while the stock price comes down a little bit. That's the sort of 
earnings divergence I like to see. And here we see 2022 numbers still on the rise while the stock has rolled over. That, my friends, I believe is an opportunity because as you see over time, these estimates help move the stock price. So even as these estimates are coming down, it's the same thing, right? Estimates still coming down. The stock price was going up. That's a different sort of divergence, right? I didn't like that. And eventually what happened? The stock price came down along with estimates. So we really like to see these estimates turn up, and that's what is continuing to happen. So right here, this looks like this pullback is actually an opportunity to add more. Let's look at this Delic UK, uh, rather U.S., Holdings, again, Zach's ranked number one strong buy. It's going to be a similar story here. Lots of analysts up, upping the ante. You got huge growth year over year, and then next year it's going to reel in. So the question is, how much is it going to reel in? Is it going to be a big deal? So here going from 79 cents all the way to 546 for the current year, a buck 29 to 330 for next year. Again, take a look at that price consensus and EPS surprise chart on Zach's.com. Give you an idea of what is to come. And again, it's amazing how these stocks track with these earnings. And if these earnings continue to go up while the stock price is pulled back, that, my friends, is an opportunity to add more. I also wanted to take a look at the Canadians. 51% return for the Canadians here. Pretty good. And Imperial Oil being Zach's ranked number one in that space. I have this one pulled up. Let's look at the detailed estimates here. Go ahead and take a look. Similar story, huge sales growth or revenue growth this year, huge EPS growth. But this is something that's really jumping out on me is that on the sales side, they're expecting a very small contraction next year with a little more of a contraction on the EPS side. So perhaps things are better up north. Haven't seen the doubling that you're seeing in some of these other stocks. So 524 to 771 in terms of earnings, 430 to 670 for next year. So why are the American stocks doubling and these not doubling? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe there's a little bit of an opportunity here. Looking at the price consensus EPS surprise chart again, you see it. You see it time and time again. Earnings bottoming out, going higher. The stock moving along with it. Here you got a little bit of a pullback. So if you like the Canadians, they've had one. Heck of a run, but I think for my money, I'd be looking at something like Marathon, which has that nice, healthy pullback while earnings keep pushing higher. Every time you share this video, somebody uses their oil stock profits to fill up their gas tank. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Twitter at Bartosiastics, and check out Zax.com slash promo for this week's deal on finding number one stocks. For everybody here at Zax, I'm Dave Bartosiak, and I'll see you next time.